Hello, um, welcome to this episode of Sycamore Junior High Daily Video Announcements. Happy Terrific Tuesday. Today is September 24th. Hello, I'm Robert. And hi, I'm Lilith. So we're Sycamore Junior High. Be safe, responsible, respectful, and be a creative problem solver. Thank you for being responsible and respectful at this time as we place our hands over hearts with our fellow aviators and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You all are terrific individuals. Keep being the terrific you and making this place a great place to learn. Our Beach Bass News, he raised over $31,000. We reached our goal, but if you are still in the running to win prizes, we are keeping the competition open until this Friday, September 27th. When we announced the top winners and final raffle winners, 8th grade was closing in on 7th grade. I wonder which grade gets to claim most sales. Way to go, Sycamore. Again, when we all work together, we can accomplish great things. Today's tip from our counselors. Be responsible and respectful. Respect your teacher's time and effort by being punctual, prepared, and attentive. Follow the classroom rules and complete your assignments on time. Respectful behavior shows that you value their efforts and helps foster a positive learning environment. Remember, your teachers are here to help you succeed. By taking these steps, you can build strong connections and create a more positive and productive learning experience. PBIS Reward Store. Hey, did you see the new design challenge option during Flex as a PBIS reward? What's a design challenge? A design challenge is a fun project where you and your teammates use your own ideas to solve a problem. You'll get to be creative, work together, and think critically as you design, build, and test your ideas. It's all about trying new things, learning from each other, and improving your project as a team. Oh, that sounds very fun. When do these design challenges start? I read that they start October 3rd and that the first 28 students to sign up get to attend the challenge in the extra science room, number 2263. Oh, I think I'm going to try that out. I wonder how many points it costs. Says here it costs 10 points. Oh, that sounds like it's worth the fun. I heard that they will happen weekly with different challenges each week on Thursdays and all you have to do is buy it from the PBIS store. Okay, next, it's clubs and activities announcements time. Do you get dropped off before school and have to sit in a boring bench until they let you in? Do you like sports and games and would like to play instead of sitting down on that boring bench? Come to the intramurals in the morning meeting. This Friday, September 27th at 7.30 a.m. at the recess door, 22. Sign up ahead of time in final forms and remind text at 63K8K to this number 81010. There are signs in, on the club bulletin boards in Miss Meyer's office window and by door 22 with details. <coughs> Next. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here for this week's Athlete of the Week. But before we get into that, I want to do a quick recap of some amazing things that happened last week. So last week, our girls' tennis team swept Mason, and it, they swept both of their teams. So on two different dates this year, Mason has two teams. Uh, they went over and, um, and had matches against Mason, won both of them. This also occurred last year as well. So they have won four straight matches against Mason and they will partake in the GMC tournament coming up uh, this coming Monday. Um, also want to give a shout out to um, the boys soccer team. They have their fifth shutout of the season and the girls soccer team, um, they have had some dominating wins this year. I know they had a six nothing win. They've had an eight nothing win. So. Uh, they've been doing a great job as well. Hey, cross country, girls cross country won another meet. That is their fifth 
straight meet that they have won. Ariana Hurst, she was a first place finisher. And yes, Andrew Poor did win his fifth straight meet for the boys. So great things are going on with cross country. Um, also want to give a shout out to Girls Green 7th Volleyball um, and Girls Tennis, I'm sorry, and Girls Golf. They are both currently undefeated. Um, we hope that they uh, can continue that. So that's amazing as well. Um, seventh and eighth grade gold volleyball. They're having amazing seasons. They are both 10 and one. So um, when we're talking about fall sports, um, really across the board, um, I know I didn't mention every team, but every single team has a winning record. So uh, we've, we've had a great fall and we are starting to wind things down just a couple of weeks left. So with that being said, I want to introduce uh, our eighth grade football athlete of the week. This is James Geary. And James plays offensive and defensive line for the Aviator football team. And you guys have a winning record as well, if I'm not mistaken. So um, three and two, does that sound correct? Yeah. They are three and two and could easily uh, be four and one um, or even five and five and oh. They've really been in every single game this year. This is his first year playing football and he has done an outstanding job so far. He is always eager to learn and ask great questions to further his knowledge of the game. He always gives his best effort in practices and games. James has been a standout for our defense and has played O-line when called upon. Keep up the great work, James. You have a bright future ahead of you, not only on the field, but off it as well. So what a nice write-up, James. Congratulations. Moving on, this is Kelsey Willishaw. Is that correct? Will Shaw, and she is a member of our seventh grade volleyball team. And uh, this says that you guys are nine and one, but you guys are now ten and one. Um, as I received this right up last week, she is a strong passer on defense who anticipates well and moves quickly to the ball. She is also a right side hitter who can swing aggressively from anywhere on the court. Kelsey has led quite a few long serving runs. Do you know what your longest is this year? 23. I was not expecting that answer. For the team, um, oh, they mentioned that they hear they mentioned a 21 point serving streak. Do you remember what team that was against? No. That was against Goshen. So the team has been able to rely on Kelsey's consistent play throughout the season, and you guys are about to start GMC play pretty soon, and uh, we'll find out their seeding uh, pretty soon. We, we think you're going to probably be a two seed, if I'm not mistaken, because Mason will probably be the one seed. So uh, chances are these girls will have a good shot of making it to the finals. So Kelsey, here's your certificate. Congratulations. <laughs> and lastly, we have Delilah Shepard Easton. She is a convert from what did you do last year? Cross country. She did cross country. So, and she has converted to volleyball and she has now been named athlete of the week for volleyball. So it was a good move on her part. She has been successful in both sports. Delilah has come a long way this season, being a primary defender for us. She always gives 110% and always wants to be pushed to the limit. She always is laying out to keep her team in the game and the point alive. Do you have a lot of bruises? Yeah. Yeah, she's got quite a few bruises. Over the last couple of weeks, her serve and her back row play have been a key factor for us having the offensive attack that we have had. She is also hitting a whopping 73% kill percentage. And we tell people, what does that mean? It just means like the majority of the hits that you swing are either going in or like you're scoring a point off of it somehow. Very well explained. And seven aces over that same period. Congratulations, Delilah. Clap, 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 clap. clap. Thank you, thank you. And free Chick-fil-A. Thank you. Um, 
we're filming this on Monday, but you're watching this on Tuesday, and there is a lot going on here uh, this afternoon. We certainly invite you to join us. We have soccer games here. We have volleyball games in both gyms this afternoon, and we also have a tennis match going on. So uh, if you have the uh, time this afternoon, come join us. There's a lot going on here at the junior high. Have a great day. Next. Hey, Sycamore Junior High. We are here with our four Student of the Week um, students um, to award them. So um, first I have Vinnie Kaufman. Vinnie was nominated by Mrs. Craver. And Mrs. Craver says Vinnie participates in class, works hard all of the time, and was respectful to his teachers and classmates. Congratulations, Vinnie. Thank you. Kostia Serginkov. Serginkov is a model of politeness and respect towards his teachers and his classmates. So, Mr. Balhafian nominated you. Congratulations. Thank you. And this is Emily James. And Mr. Callahan says that Emily is a hard worker who gives her best to everything that she does. Congratulations, Emily. And Simon Wagner, Mr. Blankenship nominated you, Simon. He says that recently was one of Sycamore students who auditioned for the prestigious Junior Cincinnati Youth Wind Ensemble. Simon is a leader in the classroom, showing by example the highest standard of respect and responsibility in class. Furthermore, he is quick to help others in need of help, not only problem solve his own needs, but the needs of his peers for the benefit as well as the whole classroom. Congratulations, Simon. Guys, help me um, in celebrating our student of the week. Thanks, crew. Next up. <laughs> Mark your calendars. Hashtag Ohio Tech Day, presented by Meta, is on Friday, September 27th. If you're interested in teaming up with Ohio on fr learning tech, email Miss Jarvis. Wednesday, October 2nd, is the first Partners Club meeting with Miss Lisa in room 1260 after school from 3 to 4 p.m. Friday, October 11th, the first quarter grade period ends. So keep up your grades and finish the first quarter strong with hard work and determination. Next, Next up, up, birthdays. Happy birthday to students celebrating today, Alisa S. and Avni J. And happy birthday to staff member, Mr. Hager. Enjoy celebrating your special day. Next, joke of the day. What do you do when your puppy is not feeling well? I don't know. What do you do? You take him to the dog tour. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. Well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your terrific Tuesday. Make positive choices. Always open your mind to new learning. Meet a new friend. And go A's!